My name is Alan Rubik. I'm from Hungary. Hungary. Now, I understand that you are a professor, and what, um, where do you teach, and what do you teach? Uh, actually, I'm retired now, oh. so because of my age, and, uh, but um, <coughs> I'm a professor of uh, uh, architecture and design <coughs> at okay. the Academy of uh, Applied Arts in the past, but uh, now it's changed the name, and it's called <coughs> Morley Knight uh, <coughs> uh, University. Very good. Now, th the reason you're at this conference, of course, is amongst the many things you've done, uh, you invented a puzzle that everybody knows and associates with you. This was done in the mid-70s, or do I have my date wrong? I made my discoveries in, in 74. Yes. And, and uh, I made my uh, patent application in 75, so that's your now, right. <laughs> were you a student still at this time, or not? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I was already uh, a lecturer, oh. lecturing design in, in my school. Now, we, uh, some of us imagine that uh, you created this in response to an assignment or a challenge. Other people think that you just created it as a plaything. What is the truth behind that? I, I created this following uh, to my curiosity uh, and, and the potential of three dimension and structure. I, I had interest about uh, system approach and that kind of thing. So uh, <coughs> all together uh, led, led me uh, uh, to the uh, final thing. Uh, uh, at first, it, for me, it was interested about the structure, the engineering part. Uh, but later on, I, I, I had the feeling uh, very soon, when, especially when I uh, was able to create my workable uh, uh, mo uh, prototypes. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the feeling that is a puzzle content as well, or that is a challenge. Yes. You know, puzzle is a very <laughs> uh, what kind of uh, term? So it's uh, it's much more. <coughs> now you could do a Rubik's cube by just 27 cubes and pick it up and rotate them. So was when would, when did you realize that you could build an internal mechanism? so that it could be a real rotation and not just 27 cubes? That was in, in 74. So that's, uh, <coughs> uh, how can I say, I had an aim and the target. Uh, uh, in, in, from my childhood, I had experience about many problem solving and mechanical t puzzle type of uh, uh, things, but I, I was all the time like to have something what is one unit and not not un have several pieces and uh, you lost one and, uh, <laughs> and the, the it became meaningless because you can't finish what you are doing. So I wanted something what is one piece. That's one thing. Other thing is I never liked that type of problems when you are working with several hundreds of elements and so on and so forth. It, but it's, for me, it, it can be very boring because I think uh, the physical task is more than the intellectual one. So I, I, I was looking something that is very simple, very, very containing very small elements, number of elements, and, and uh, easy to handle, and, uh, <coughs> and in the same time, it has uh, uh, several possibilities. The cube, when it came out in the West, well, I should ask, was there a time lag between its release behind the Iron Curtain and the West, or did they occur more or less at the same time? You know, <laughs> usually inventors or creative people had, had, had make the mistake they are impatient. Mm -hmm. You must be patient if you'd like to achieve something. So uh, when I, I, I made my, I got my idea and I, I made my uh, solution for the idea, and I was waiting three years to, to see it in shops. And after that three years, but because that was only in the Hungarian shops, behind the Iron Curtain, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> uh, I waited another three years, and uh, uh, we were able to, to go out and uh, to, to reach the, the, <coughs> the Western world. Now, you must know that amongst mathematicians, especially combinatorial mathematicians. The Hungarian background is legendary. 
there's in fact like what's called the Hungarian School of Mathematics. And they, they seem to think at a different plane than the rest of us. They are extraordinary. Uh, in that period of time when it was available in Hungary, but before it was available in the West, did it attract interest by Hungarian mathematicians? Sure, sure. I think that was the first uh, potential to go out from Hungary but, um, with the object. They are going to, to the uh, abroad uh, to meet with their colleagues and exchange ideas. And in the meantime, they, they will carry some, some cubes and show that, that how interesting it is it. Oh, so that, I, this is, that, this is a new story. You're saying that the Hungarian mathematicians introduced it to the West before it was oh, marketed. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice. They, so. they discovered in the shops, you know, that <laughs> it was available. Now, I suspect, though, people go too far. They might say, I have a theory that solving the cube is like living life, or solving the cube is like, you know, uh, you must hear a lot of uh, extrapolations on this in many different directions, sure, sure, some sure. of which might be too much, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, for me the the most uh, I, I can't say surprising, but the most emotionally interesting uh, thing is the how the cube as a solution of something uh, or a potential to what is so potentials uh, uh, was able to inspire people on many areas and many fields. So inspire people creating experimental music, inspire people uh, to, to, to make very strange records, and, and uh, inspire to find something else and how to improve. Everybody walking down the street had one in their hands at one point in time. Yeah, that's what it's called, case. <laughs> but does it bother you that most of those people never solved it? Uh, how can I say? It's not, uh, it, it, I, I know, for me, it was very difficult to, to so find a practical solution and to believe myself and, and that later on to believe, to, to, to believe other people it's solvable and you can do it and you can play with it and, and there must be a result. And uh, uh, because of the collected knowledge about it, it's uh, it became more and more easy to learn. Yes, indeed yeah. it is. Well, that's probably a good place for us to stop then. Yeah. And I thank you for your time. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Great. Thank you.